Welcome back everybody, this is Oais back with another video on the channel. Uh, so we've been doing Ionic 4 tutorial series. Now in this video, we're gonna take a look at the code itself. We have learned so far how to emulate projects to Android devices and iOS devices. We also learn how we can add platforms like Android, iOS, and browser. And we have covered the basics of Ionic, basically the workflow and the tools you need to set up uh, to basically start developing an Ionic, or we can say hybrid mobile app. So right now, I'm going to go and show you guys what is the project structure, what each file does. So first of all, I have created a blank project. So if you create a new project and you will use the template blank, this is what you're gonna get. So there's pretty much nothing's changed. So you go ionic start blank and name of the project. So I've shown you how to create a project, right? So I'm starting with the blank template. Now this is the template that we're gonna be using. The source code is gonna be available on my GitHub account. So I'll link to that as well. So we'll do ionic serve dash L. So dash L flag basically will help us to reload our application. It will show our application into native looking uh, devices. But at the end of the day, you still wanna test on the actual simulator, whether it's iOS or Android. Now this is our application is running. I'm just gonna uh, make this a little bit like this. And then we don't need to keep the terminal up and running. Now that's it. So the first of all, let's go through the project structure. So we have seen some of the project structure uh, in the previous video, but let's go something, let's go into details. Now, the first thing you will see a source folder, which will have everything related to your app. I wanna go to main.ts. So the main.ts file is an entry point. It's an entry point for the whole application. Here you can see that we basically import uh, enable product mode, which is right now it's not true because we are developing. So we have a platform, browser dynamic, bootstrap module, app module, and then that's what we imported. So here we have an app, a module. So we go to app and this is the app module. So basically the main.ts file is telling the compiler that, okay, this is our main entry module. Start our application from here. Now, once you start your application, it will go and then do all its uh, processing related to Angular stuff. So this is nothing more than Angular module with some Ionic, uh, Ionic uh, modification. So right now, if you are familiar with Angular, you feel at home. So we have ng module, we have a declarations, we define all the components here. We have entry components, which is basically uh, empty right now. We imported browser module, Ionic module for root, and app routing module. So in Ionic 4, it basically we have a, a different uh, lazy loading concept. So we lazy load a different module. So here we basically create the module. This is an entry point entry module for our app. Next we have app routing module, which is imported by app module. So we go to app routing module. Let's take a look at app routing module. So basically what's happening here, we have a two routes defined in a routes variable, which has a type of a routes. Now we downloaded, we actually imported a router module and we pass in this routes variable. Now what I wanna do is I want to explain what is lazy loading. Basically, let's say that you have your application of about 500 pages or 1000 pages. Now, when you start your application, if you are willing to load those 10,000 or 1000 pages, your application is going to be loaded. Uh, it's gonna take a lot of time to load that application. So this is where lazy loading comes into play. Basically, you load an application, you load just one specific main module, and then you load the rest of the modules depending on the browser URL or depending on which one you requested. So what I wanna do here, I want to go and create a couple of uh, modules, uh, separate pages with separate module, and then we will link to those. So here we can see we have lazy loaded this 
page home so basically it says go to this route if there is no route defined and it redirects to home which again matches with this path and it says path match it's set to full now it's going to go to this module by default so let's go to terminal and i'm going to create a new terminal here and here i'm going to type a command ionic g now it tells me which which uh what, what kind of uh, uh stuff i want to generate so i'll say i want to generate a page and i would say okay let's say about us page i'm going to press enter now it's going to generate a module for us it's going to generate the page for us and it's going to automatically load that to our app a routing module as you can see now we have about us which basically links to about us about us dot module which is here and then we have this uh about us page module which is basically the name of the module nothing more than that so i'm just going to close this now we want to create another page let's just say contact press enter now it's going to create a page of uh, contact also it's going to create a module so basically when you go inside a module you see it has a route part set to empty and it defines the component it, it imports the component as well so let's close this as well now let's say that we don't see these automatically loaded but we want to write our own so basically you simply go and define a path you type it in the path you want to match according to the url in your browser and then you type a key load children and then you specify a path to the folder which is basically here about us and then next you say go inside this folder look for this file about us.module.ts file which is defined here and then you define a hash and i'm saying basically go inside this folder go to this about us.module file and then go inside this file and then look for about us page module and if i look at about us page module here you can see it basically has a routing implemented so it has this about us page component implemented in this module so how do i link to this now there's various ways that you can do navigation using angular in ionic 4 but let's take a look at so we want to go to the home which is basically a simple uh route which basically if there is no route it will go to the home which we actually define here at routing module so right on the top so go to redirect to home if there is no url there okay so now I'm just going to get rid of uh, this. Okay, I'm going to save this. Now there's nothing here. So I'll just go and create, let's just say use ion button. We do, let's just say, then we want to go to, let's just do an anchor tag and we'll do href. And here I define simply I want to go to, let's go back to app routing module. So I want to go to about us. Let's copy this and paste that here and I'll say about us. Let's save it and you will see a button. I don't see the name here. So maybe about us here, we'll type it in. That's fine. And we just want to get rid of this as well. Or we can define, we can do href here slash about us let me just remove that okay so now if i click on about us that will take me to the about us module and it loads that component so if i go to about us module and here will take us to here and they will load this about us page now let's go to uh contact and here we have this component there. I'm going to go back to home, uh, not home, sorry. Sorry, home, yes. So home page. And then here I want to uh, add another button. And then here I will do and find app product model. That's just the contact. We copy that 
and we go to let's just close what stuff here and let's just do contact here i'm going to save this now we have two buttons about us and then we can say contact now let's go to a uh, contact page and here i would like to define a button oops not that one let's make it bigger so button sorry ion dash button oops not badge what i'm doing button and we do edge ref and we say dash home save it similar we want to copy this we want to go to about us page and we want to paste it here as well let's save this now we can navigate between these files so let me just say home here and then we have a content page i want to say home page here okay so now if i click on a home it'll take me back to the home module and will load this home page and if i go to contact it takes me to the contact page and then i have another button here to the contact page and i can go back to home so as you can see we basically can do a lazy loading here so routing with the lazy loading all right so that's about this video guys in the next video we're going to take a look at how we can use some of the components uh, provided by ionic library